Throughout this lesson, you've been learning all about timber production, forestry, and the ways that trees can be used by plants and animals in a forest environment. We're now going to consider the way that trees and tree materials can be used by humans as solutions to sustainable design problems. Materials from trees are used by humans for all kinds of purposes, be that building materials, food or paper production. However, because materials from trees are biodegradable, durable and natural, they're being used as creative solutions and alternatives for less environmentally fear-friendly materials such as plastic. Plastic toys like these ones are causing a big problem for our environment. While they might be lots of fun, they're not biodegradable, they break really easily and they can't be recycled. So they usually only last children a couple of years before they end up in our oceans or in landfill. Wooden toys like this one on the other hand are much more durable, last a lot longer and can break down, meaning they're a far more environmentally friendly option. Your challenge today is going to be to design a more environmentally friendly toy than a plastic toy using different kinds of materials from trees. Throughout this task, you are challenged to design your own sustainable toy using different materials made from trees. Now, as you design your toy, you need to think about what kind of materials you would like to use, why they are more environmentally friendly than plastic, and how they might be used by the children that you're going to be designing them for. For your design challenge, you can use all kinds of materials made from trees. Things like paper straws, wood, paper cups, paper plates, just plain old paper. I chose to use recycled paper for mine because I would like to make my toy extra sustainable. Cork, matchsticks, materials from actual trees that you might like to go and collect outside, like gum nuts bark, sticks, cardboard, or scraps of paper. The first step to the design process is going to be creating your design using your design template worksheet. Think about the materials that you're going to use and draw and label how you're going to create your prototype. I'm going to start by creating, hmm, looking at my materials. I think I'm going to make a parachuter using recycled paper and maybe some sticks. So the first thing I'm going to draw is my parachute. And I'm going to label that with paper. The next thing I'm going to think about is how I could make my parachuter. So I think I'm going to use twigs a twig body and then I might use a bit more recycled paper for my parachutist face. Mm. It's looking very scared. Alright, so I'm going to label twigs and I'm going to need some string to attach to my parachute, otherwise I might have a rather unpleasant fall. String and I need to label my paper. Once you've completed your design, you need to collect your materials and start building your prototype. Once you've created your design and used it to build your prototype, whee! Take a look on the back of your design worksheet and answer the reflection questions. The first one says, which wood products did you use in your design? What made those products the most suitable choice for your design? The next one says, what are the benefits of using wood products as a material for design? Once you've reflected on your work, share your ideas with a partner. 